We we started off my career as a uh, one of the things that I do remember is, and there are several things that we're going to talk about, but one of the things that I do remember is uh, is the uh, job interview aspect of it, to where I was doing lawn and turf management. And um, if Mr. Tweet does remember the um, the job interview part where um, you go in, well, I'll let Mr. Tweet set it up. If you if you do remember my uh, lawn turf management skills. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's embedded in my brain, and there's not too many things that stick anymore, but that's one thing that does. <laughs> uh, in, in the room with, with Rich, uh, called him Richard Rich, and uh, anyway, he was interviewing in our, one of our career development events uh, called Job Interview, and as he was interviewing, he was going just great, uh, answering <laughs> questions left and right, and very, you know, pretty much had the gold secured and then at the very end, they asked him, with your turf and landscape, or landscape uh, management, uh, exactly what kind of a lawnmower do you have? And Rich's reply was, a red one. <laughs> <laughs> Which pretty much told the, the employer in that situation that you know, he probably didn't know what kind of a machine he really had, but he did know the color. <laughs> so did you lose the goal then? Did you, did you, oh yeah. I, oh. You know, I can't remember. No, I, I, I do. I remember. I remember because when when I said when I said it, as soon as I said a, a redwood, Mr. Tweet has a very distinctive laugh, <laughs> and I just remember hearing this ha like this, and him just turning around and walking away. <laughs> and I kind of knew. I kind of knew at right that at that point, I was like, well, because I knew I was killing it. I mean, I, I have the gift of gab. That's what I've been blessed. <laughs> <laughs> with and and I can just about get my way into anything, but I know the gold was oh. in my future. I didn't even place after that. Oh like the, no! Yeah, the judges were just disgusted. Oh come on! Yeah, that's that's when it all went downhill. You know, it, <laughs> Rich's life turned around. So a red one. It was a red one, but it was a damn good red one. <laughs> oh, it was. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember, Doug? Do you remember doing? Uh, did y'all ever have to do any like dairy product or dairy product See, testing did, or anything like that? We did not have dairy there. We were more in, a, in an area with grains, and uh, we had livestock, but not dairy. Okay, so I didn't have to do it. I think you're talking about <laughs> right, right. Well, one of the things that we also did was for uh, the state judging and the national judging was a uh, was a dairy uh, dairy product dairy product uh, uh, testing. And I remember my buddy, his name was Daryl, and I haven't seen him, and I'm talking years. And I do remember all of us lining up, and it was me and Daryl, and they have, like, different uh, tastes of uh, tests of milk, right, Mr. Tweet? That's correct. And uh, you have to uh, take, like, a take like a sip out of it, oh. and and... And you have to tell what the default is in the milk, whether it's rancid, whether it's garlic. I mean, it's just different stuff like that. And I remember Daryl Wilkins walking up to the to the milk, and the first one is nasty. Like, I mean, it doesn't even look good. And he takes it like a shot, and he says, boy, this tastes like shit. <laughs> and it goes into the next one. <laughs> Yes, you're supposed to swirl it around and spit it. Really cool about FFA was uh, was Mr. Tweet. Not only was his uh, understanding and and his uh, and his just his patience was just you know Mr. Tweet was such a was such a cool guy that uh, that we always tried to to do him proud any way that we could. We used to have b- volleyball tournaments against different FFA sections. Uh huh. So if you look at me now, if you look at me now, I'm about. 250 pounds, and I'm covered from from head to toe in tattoos. Now, imagine no tattoos, 100 pounds lighter, but I still have the mouth that I have. (laughs) (laughs) I'll let Mr. Tweet talk. Do you remember the volleyball tournament when we went to uh, South Wind? Yes, yes. I'll let you tell tell the story. One of those things where, where, you know, we... We needed to get out of Dodge. Um, we we had very rarely won that tournament, but I think that year we may have done that. And uh, we just wanted to, you know, quietly get under the bus. But Rich uh, decided to, you know, have an, a, a conversation with one of the other chapter members and things. And so we just whisked him away, got him on the big yellow RV, and we took off. You put that so eloquently. He sure does. You, you chose to have a conversation with one of the... <laughs> Uh, now, Doug, do you remember? Uh, did you ever have to sell fruit? 
Yes, we did. <laughs> I remember the fruit selling very well. Every fall, you'd get in uh, get in your apple. I think it was apple and apple and oranges. We did. Yeah. Yep. Now see, we did apple, oranges, grapefruits, and pears. Grapefruit, we had to. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And see, and I remember, uh, I remember, <laughs> I remember, Mister Tweet. Like when it came time to uh, when it came time to uh, to sell fruit, I remember Mister Tweet had such the nicest way of like. You can't. You're not having any fruit. Like you need to just go away for a little bit. Why would that be? Why could you, you were banned from selling fruit? I'm not saying I was banned from selling fruit. I just uh, after one year, after one year, just Mr. Tweet knew that uh, it's probably not a good idea to let me sell fruit anymore. Yeah, you stick with the job interview. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there a story to this? Why are you selling fruit? That seems you know, fairly I, harmless. I, I, that that has been a race for my memory. I could not tell you. Well, and that is a good thing. I'll tell you off camera. Oh. I, but it involved it involved myself, Daryl, and and Daryl and and, uh, and and our buddy Carl. Uh, I think statues of limitations probably passed right now. So well, I don't want I don't want Mister Tweet. I don't want Mister Tweet to like. He's at he at least he takes my <laughs> phone calls, yeah. and I just don't want to push the luck right now. So the statue limitations goes for the respect for Mister Tweet is what it is. Oh gosh, <laughs> things that I do remember, and it's one of the things that my mother remembers is that at the um, we have this big banquet, and uh, at the end, and. I kind of forgot that you're supposed to like present your family members with something. And the only thing that I could, the only thing that like, that I could get my mother like at last minute was like a two liter Dr. Peppers, some lottery <laughs> tickets and a carton of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, that was an emotional moment. <laughs> I and see, and I, I that is what my mother like. That's what my I had forgotten about that until I told my mom that I was talking to uh, Mr. Tweet, and she just had this look on her face, and she said, "Do you remember what you got me for for our senior banquet?" And I was like, "No." And she said, "A two liter Dr Pepper, some lottery tickets, and a carton of cigarettes." She said, "Richard, I've never been so embarrassed in my life." <laughs> Yeah. You presented yeah, your... Pretty much a Kodak moment, I'm sure. Yeah. That's what we'll always remember.